<laughs> Robin. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. So you didn't, you were, you were, uh, didn't take your shirt off? Even I would wear, kid? this is how stupid I was when I was in the grade three or four or whatever. I'd wear five shirts over each other. Just to look bigger? Thinking I f- was fooling. Did you used them. to have to, in gym class, I know they used to play like shirts and skins. Right. And I hated that. And I was like, please make me a shirt. Because I, as a kid, didn't like fucking taking my shirt off either. Yeah, you were probably like, thin. Yeah, I was a very yeah, skinny yeah, yeah, kid yeah, yeah. and everything. And, and I was like, please. God. And then when they say skins, I'd be like, I how can I get out of this? Yeah. And then I'd have to go, oh, I got a stomach ache. There's two kinds of dudes, you know? Like, there's ones where they can go through a shower and shit. Oh, and, yeah, you know, yeah. Locker room Guy's naked. 12 years old, fucking yeah, showering. Yeah. Got a hairy big <laughs> cock. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> and, well, you know, you, two guys fucking a lady and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. No. How about Norm played hockey with Gretzky when he was a kid? Yeah. Really? Funny. But the finest one was, I was there, there you got fucking hot stories, but there used to be a guy on the Philadelphia Flyers by the name of uh, Dave, Dave the Hammer Schultz. Schultz. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. This guy was a he fucking was an animal. enforcer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was a little kid, you know, at the fucking, uh, uh, where the Canad's Inn played, you know, at the Forum, uh, I was back at fucking Schultz, you know, the big fucking bad flyers and shit, you know. I couldn't find Bobby Clark, but Schultz was standing outside the bus with a big fur coat on, looked like from Slapshot or something. <laughs> and so I ran up to him, I was a little kid, I'm like, hey man, can I get your autograph, you know? And he's smoking a cigarette, he threw the cigarette at me. <laughs> oh, shit! <Jesus. laughs> it was so funny! And then I was traumatized, but then later on I was like, that's way cooler than getting a, a Yeah, an autograph. Yeah, 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 being burned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Were you good at hockey, Norm? I was, I pulled my tendon. I pulled my fucking tendon. You guys are young, man. Yeah. Well, not really. A fellow like me, yeah, getting up there. Less, yeah. I've, listen. Did you have a shot? Listen, as as uh, Colin Wells knows, I've uh, I've seen more sunsets than I'm gonna see. Oh no. boy. No, but uh, <laughs> no, but I, I tore my tendon, and this is the first time I've been immobile in my life because I still have this crazy competitive fucking thing where I'll play you know 20 year old kids and pick up basketball and get the shit beat out of me mm-hmm. but I still think I'm young mm-hmm. but this was the first time I was immobile for about 3 or 4 months if you guys ever get there it's a fucking portal to the future you go holy fuck. <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I noticed those uh, those aches and pains that start coming you know? up that you get oh, yeah. weren't there before all of us. and yeah. you just kind of now Sucks. you got to work through them. and Louis CK talks about it too when he goes to the doctor and it's just like oh that's just you know oh that's what it is that's never going away, yeah, ever. Exactly. There's no cure for it. There's nothing. you got to live with it. And it's like, oh, great. That's just the beginning of the right. falling apart right. sequence. Ba- you never my fucking cardiologist, 68-year-old man, I'm, he's like, you got to keep walking. He goes, at our age. I go, our age? <laughs> <laughs> like that. And then I realized, I think I am in his bracket compared to my kid, you know, who's 18. I'm not in his fuck. I'm closer to this 68-year-old. Yeah, fucking. yeah. But, you know, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I talk about this in my new book, Perspectives. Perspectives. <laughs> That's good. But you wish you had the... You know what everybody fucking says? They're like, hey, man, I don't care. When I get to be 80, I'll just do heroin. That's what everybody fucking says. Right, right, yeah. But I think when you get to be 80, you're like, oh, you're just scared. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. You're not going to do a heroin. I, I, know, I noticed during your... I'm <laughs> hoping yeah. young people don't... <laughs> fucking beat you up. <laughs> Imagine you walking down the street, every fucking guy can beat, every fucking guy and lady. <laughs> just kick your oh. ass. Yeah, and they don't give a fuck about you. And you don't, I saw an old guy, this is another thing. You ever notice this? You see a fucking old guy, like 80, fucking looks like a, a skeleton or some shit, right? In your stupid head, you don't think you're going to get like that. No. I don't right. know why, but... And you think it's going to be just so like long and and something might change in science yeah, or something yeah. like, like i've noticed on your special you do have a lot of bits that are very funny but like very dark as far as the um death death the and opening. growing about, old and disease and things like that one of the funniest goddamn things you were saying was you know your odds of getting attacked by a terrorist are a million and one but your heart attacking yeah. you oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just somebody your heart attacks you 
The heart's not not. What are the odds of your heart attacking you? That was great. Attacking you. I thought that was offensive. It was very offensive. Well, the people who've had heart attacks call. It's a good point. Funny to us. Too soon. But but like, where where is where is that? Like, where are you as far as that goes? Are you authentically petrified of the end or of of falling apart? I mean, I shouldn't think about it as much as I do. You do? Do you lay there? I go fucking. uh, (laughs) I get a lot of tests done. Do you? Yeah, like make my dad, sure everything's cool. Your this cholesterol this happened and... to me one time because, like, people say oh, you're hypochondriac and shit, but I'm like, no, fuck, that's not it. It's like the only chance you got is early detection. That's yeah. all you got. And uh, so I, I, I used to go to the uh, Mayo Clinic, you know, in Rochester, sure. Minnesota, every year, and I would have this is what I'd do because I don't. This, <laughs> every... this is what doctors do. They'll they'll just uh, fucking uh, you go. Hey, I got a cough. That's eh, probably a cold. Right. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. they just uh, brush everything off, especially if they know that's you're what a they told Jim Henson. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So what I would do is I'd go to the, this is what happened to me. I went to the uh, Rochester Mayo Clinic and I would exaggerate all my symptoms. <laughs> so I go to the fucking, I go to the stomach guy. He goes, "What do you got?" I go, "I fucking shit and blood." <laughs> I'm coughing up blood. You go, holy fuck. So he'd give me a full thing. I wanted to make yeah. sure I got a full thing. Okay. So every fucking guy, blood was coming out of my nose and ears and my <laughs> asshole and everything. So, uh, so anyways, just so I get a full, clean bill of health. So I did, and then that's that's when I'm most happy is just when I'm walking out just, of that place. Now, how long does that last? It doesn't last long because obviously, <laughs> something can obviously pop two up. days later, the fucking thing can start. But uh, oh. then... I fucking, uh, six months later, I decided I never had insurance before, so I decided to get like life insurance. Couldn't get it, right? So I was like, holy fuck, because sometimes they mix up files and shit. I said, something, I must have something wrong oh, with me. Shit. Oh, no. And uh, so I, I fucking uh, said, why the fuck can't I get, and nobody will accept me for life insurance. Anyway, it turns out that the life insurance people are privy to all the doctor's notes. Oh, so you so were they saying. They got the doctor's notes. <laughs> Even though I had a clean bill of health, they go, this guy's shitting blood. <laughs> fucking blood everywhere, you know. I can insure this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So they said, uh, he must have some unknown disease. Oh, or... shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So it took me a long time, and then finally I had to get that fucking uh, Ed McMahon life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like those guys. They're like, hey, man, will nobody fucking give you life insurance on account of you're fucking old and sick and going to die? Here, we'll give it to you a dollar a month. If you're 65 or older, you can get term life insurance. Yeah. And then it says doesn't kick in for three years. <laughs> Premiums, you know. And, and uh, Plus, imagine if you're the fucking guy that's asking to do that commercial. And it's like, and no medical <laughs> tests. It's we like, won't ask any yeah. medical questions. <laughs> right. Imagine you're an actor, like you're fucking like Robert Wagner. And you, yeah, you know yeah. that's a t- you know. Yeah, like, hey the- man, do you think about death every fucking day? <laughs> <laughs> like me? Did you never fucking take, think of taking care of your family at any point? <laughs> Until right now when you're on your deathbed? Yeah, until now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, I, I did notice uh, uh, during the special there were a lot of those things, but you, you make them fun. There's, it's very rare that you could use the word cancer in a, a bit and actually make it funny. <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah. No, I'm not like, I'm, that's not what I talk about in Stan. That was just a certain period of no, time. No, that's what I, I mean, you know. It's, Thinking uh, about shit. Okay. Like that. Do you, uh, do, I noticed because I, I'm very bad with me being alone with my own thoughts at night. A lot of times if I'm just in a quiet oh, room fuck. without the TV on, like I'll just think too much to go to sleep. Yes. Man, and it could be anything. It could be like, oh, there's a kind of a program I want to maybe work on tomorrow on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could be, hey, I wonder when I'll die. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that, so I like having the TV on yeah. just for that. Are you are you good with your own thoughts just no, laying there in the I'm quiet? I'm no good. No? I try to, because, you know, you try something to get off the whatever the fuck you'd use to, <laughs> to quiet your mind. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whether it's booze or whatever the fuck, sure, pills, sure. whatever it is. But I try, so I try uh, uh, meditation, try that, you know. Uh, f- uh, to me, it worked the opposite. Like, I'm sitting in a room of people, they go, just close your eyes. They go, thoughts will happen. No fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Racing hellish thoughts, you know. And then the guy's like, just let them go. I'm like, ah. And then you open your eyes, you look at some other fuckers right beside you. Yeah. And uh, I, I tried it three times. I could never get to any place of quiet. No, I need a lot of distractions. And I, I could still operate and work. Like, I could, yeah. I could make myself, uh, you know, go to sleep. Or if I'm working on a computer or something... 
uh, I'm good with the TV on or something like yeah, that. Yeah. But I need you this need constant distraction. little distraction because if you're just left alone to your own devices, your Fuck. thoughts will turn horrid. I, tell you, I stumped a fucking psychiatrist once. <laughs> <laughs> I said to the guy, because I was fucking gambling all the time, shit, right? I had a gambling addiction. Uh, right? I'm over it now, but shit. But he said... I uh, bet you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> he up, almost shit. lost everything. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you haven't met shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, Chip Chipperson is very funny. <laughs> but he said, the psychiatrist, he said, you're using gambling, you're using, uh, you know, you're fixating on gambling in order to escape your real thoughts. You know? mm -hmm. And I said to him, isn't that why you do everything in life? <laughs> and literally, I stumped him. He had no answer. He was yeah. like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he recovered and tried to make it. But isn't that why you do everything? Yes. So you're not sitting at home just thinking, thinking about what, what was what's your, uh, really going to happen to us? <laughs> where, where it all ends? <laughs> what was your gambling poison there? What did you, what did you enjoy? Sports, 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 was sports the worst. gambling. Yeah, sports is the worst. You were a casino guy, or no? I did everything, but yeah. sports was uh, sports was the one that uh, you think you can pick. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. You delude yourself into going. You've sports gambled. I've sure. never sports gambled. Oh, really? I, I'm, In but your I, life? I, I, well, maybe once I got that slip and I knew nothing and oh. I filled shit out yeah, and some guy. I could have won. About you? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. not not no, like you. It, I've right? heard the norm stories. I'm Fuck blackjack that. guy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I play oh, blackjack. What was, oh, do I love blackjack. What was your biggest loss? Do you talk about it? <laughs> nah. Not really, huh? Nah. I don't blame you. A lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. You're over it, though. I did a stupid thing one time. <laughs> okay, he's ready to talk. <laughs> you know, this, was my big, uh, this was my big statement. I threw uh, uh, over at uh, Atlantic City uh, hmm. on the boardwalk. I threw 60000 into the ocean. What? No way. Yeah, to quit. That was my thing. I, I'm going to quit. Why didn't you just quit and keep the sixty? <laughs> It was it was like it was supposed to be like uh, I felt like I was in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a symbolic wow. kind of a thing. Yeah, like, yeah, was yeah. it money or chips? No, it was What's money. That? Is money? money? Holy shit. <laughs> I said chips, and he goes, what's that? Wait, so you threw 60 grand, because you had a moment where you're like, this is cleansing, this is yeah, like, this is, to yeah. the ocean, the I committed. Way, the same way a drug addict would throw his drugs sure. into right. the ocean. Right. Right. How long after it left your hand did you statement. regret it? <laughs> I regretted it pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would have thrown the fucking dealer into the That's how I would get over it. I'm, Those always stone surprised, that, idiots. I'm surprised that people, like dealers, don't get... Uh, killed killed yeah. it, it really is amazing because they can piss you off i've seen dealers do things where it's like and and oh, where in, in succession where you're like all right look i'm finally getting good cards i'm pulling 20s out here and the dealer is consistently showing a dumb four or a three and that seven eight pops up oh, yeah, and yeah, here's yeah. the ever-present picture card or anytime like they're dealing around and i'm like okay king and now they go around yeah. for the second one four and, but whenever you see them showing a, a picture card, that fa that uh, down card, it's always a face card oh, or an ace. It's every time. Insurance. Is that insurance. your game? That's your game. Yeah, no, I have I have yelled. I've gotten to the point where the, the guy, the guy, my security guy, Keith, the cop, had had to get a pillow and bring it down because I was turning around and punching him in the shoulder so hard when they would pull this bullshit on me. And I was yelling where, like, the floor guy would come over and go, Hey, Mr. Comey, you're going to have to keep it down. Because I'm just like, Yeah, you motherfucker! Fuck! So, the pillow... Do other people recognize you? Yes, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Yes, yeah, it's yeah. humiliating. And, and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I would also use the pillow to bury my face and go like, <laughs> And I have to tell the dealer, Look, it's not you personally. Yeah. It's the cards. You I'm yelling. You reacted to an ace of diamonds the way most people react to a rape. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming into a pillow. <laughs> well, I fucking had an 11, and I doubled down, and you're throwing fucking, you got almost 30 grand out there, and they give you an ace? <laughs> I never get you, an ace. It's funny when you see a famous guy. There used to be a guy, a weatherman here in New York named Spencer Christian. Oh, yeah, oh, sure, yeah. Spencer yeah. ABC, uh, Good Morning America. I think he also wrote, I think he was a smart guy or some shit. But anyways, I seen him in the casino at the at the Trump, you know, and you can spot a compulsive gambler. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. His eyes are... And he's on a bad roll. It's that kind of <laughs> roll where you keep leaving the tables, and they're like, better luck next time. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. And he's just the next table, and he's putting money. Everything's losing, you know, and he's just saying, anyway, this big, fat fucking family from Ohio. They go, there's that brother, 
that. Oh, no, you don't want so to talk to anybody. No. So they're taking a picture, and he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and deal. Oh, man. Oh, exactly. I, I hear you. And the other fucking horrible thing is you, like, lose money. You walk away from a table, a fucking craps table, yeah. right, down, like, 35 fucking thousand. And as you walk away, some motherfucker goes, yeah, it's, like, two bucks for us. Yeah. Hey, go, no, yeah, it's right. not, it's asshole. Not. It's not. Tier. I'm here. Norm has yeah. to go. Oh, you have to ah, leave? Your people yeah. are, Norm's a busy man. Your, oh, your people go. are telling us that you have All to right. go. Tell them, Fred. <laughs> the virus. Serious XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.